for watching our videos. If you not yet subscribed, please subscribe. So in this module, we are going to discuss our new chapter, direct and inverse proportion. So what is meant by proportion and what is meant by direct and inverse proportions? Before going to start our exercise, we need to know a little bit introduction about direct and indirect proportion. So what is that is actually is. So let's take the value of. So let's take anything x. Let's take two quantities x and y. If it is a x is directly proportional to y. So let's take direct proportion. Direct proportion means. If x increases, y will also increase. What is the indirect proportion? So indirect proportion means if x is increasing, y will be decreases. So we need to write these formulas, these quantities in math terms. How to write is, let's take x is directly proportional to y means we are going to symbolize with alpha. This is direct proportion symbol. If x is inversely proportional, that is indirect proportion means we will take 1 by y. So x is directly proportional. This is direct proportion. This is indirect proportion. So x is proportional to inverse of y, that is 1 by y. So what is this is actually? So we cannot write in the format of equation. So we are going to write equation means x is multiplying alpha will take it as direct proportion equal to some k. So k is nothing but constant. So k is what? k is constant. It will not change at any time. If you change x and y, y values will change. Values will change. But k will not change. But k will not, will not change. k will be constant. So here x is directly proportional to k y and here also x directly proportional to k into 1 by y so in direct proportion this is direct proportion this is indirect proportion so let's take what you can take here as so alpha is nothing but this direct proportional symbol is nothing but some equal is equal to equal to equal k so this proportional symbol is actually equal to will take equal to and k then x by y will be equal to k then x into y will be equal to k this is direct proportion constant this is indirect proportion constant so direct proportion means we have to remember x by y for the two quantities we have to take x by y if in this indirect proportion x into y so let's take quantities will be x by 5 x by 5 for direct proportion x into y for inverse proportion these are the constant values let's start our first exercise first question the cast of 5 meters of particular quality of cloth is 210 meters then find the cast of 2 and find the cost of 4 and find the cost of 10 and find the cost of 30 so cloth length of cloth let's take length of cloth will be x then let's take cast of cost of cloth cost of cloth will be y so length of cloth will be 5 meters they are given so this is in meters this is rupees so for 5 meters what they are given amount for 5 meters they are given 210 rupees like that we need to find cost of 2 things cost of 4 things then cost of 10 things and cost of 30 meters these are all meters so we have to find the what is the cast let's take this is x1 so let's take this is 1 2 3 4 5 so here x1 y1 so this is also 1 2 3 4 5 like that so if cloth is increasing so length of if x length of cloth is increasing then cast also will increase so x is increasing then y also it will increase why because if length of the cloth will be increased then cast of the cloth also increases that means x is directly proportional to y implies what you can write here is x is directly proportional you have to write x is directly proportional to y then if you alpha as i told direct proportional symbol then what you can write x by y will be equal to some constant so x by y from x by y constant constant is not changing 
So x by y means what you can take here is let's take constant will be for everything k will be same. k is same for all numbers, for all values. So first one they are given x1, y1. Then x2, y2 we have to find. So k is same right. So for that what you can write here is x1 by y1 will be equal to x2 by y2 that will be equal to x3 by y3 like that. So let's start our exercise this is so x1 by y1 so x1 by y1 will be equal to x2 by y2 we have to find y2. So x1 is what here x1 is 5 by 2 10 will be equal to 2 by y2 that implies you can solve like this as y2 will be equal to shifting this side and shifting this side 2 into 2 10 by 5 then 5 1s are then what you will get 5 4s are 5 2s are so y2 will be equal to 2 into 42 that will be equal to 2 2s are 4 2 4s are 8 84 rupees so what is y2 value 84 rupees like that we need to calculate all the remaining values so without writing formula only you can go like that how to is so let's start here here x3 x4 x5 values we have to find the remaining things so what formula here is you can take y3 as so y3 will be equal to here y3 y4 y5 values y3 will be equal to what you can take so y1 into x3 by x1 y x1 like that we can calculate here y1 by x1 into x3 so here uh, let's take y1 will be 5 that is 210 210 into x3 will be what 4 by 5 so actually here 5 ones are 5 42 are so 42 into 4 4 twos are 8 then 4 fours are 16 so 168 rupees so we'll get 168 rupees next one so y y4 will be equal to y1 by x1 into x4 so y1 by 210 by 5 into 10 so 5 ones are 5 42 are then 42 into 10 420 rupees so class cuts 10 meter cloth cast is 420 rupees so we have to take this is one box type so it's better to take in a box type so this is better to take in a box type then you can easily find then what is last one so what is our last one is your y5 so y5 will be equal to x5 into this is our direct proportion for that we need to write like this so x5 will be 13 into 210 by 5 5 ones are 5 42 za. then 13 into 42 what you will get here is 5 13 are 26 13 fours are 26 plus so 52 plus 4 that is 54 so 546 actually no need to write x1 x2 like that for your understanding we are written like that so 546 rupees thanks for watching please subscribe